Islanders, welcome back to another video. So, I got plenty of questions on the channel about the visibility in British waters is terrible, sharks should never be here. Well today, I'm gonna to show you just how beautiful the British waters can be. So the first place on the island I've come to look is the south of the island, that's the Carfer Man. Now any locals will know that this whole area is a well-known seal colony. We've got loads of grey seals here. Not as many as Scotland, but we have quite a few. So that's where I'm going to go. Where there are seals, there tends to be some predators potentially. It is jellyfish season, so we'll see maybe some lion's mane jellyfish, uh, some moon jellyfish perhaps, and also mackerel season, so quite a lot chasing them in. And also this bay, you've heard me mention before about some orca sightings in the south of the island. This is where they were, this area here. Um, obviously we have lots of seals. There's definitely two reported sightings. One of uh, an orca taking a seal just off the, so the other side over there, I've just pointed. And uh, also just another, the John Coe pod seen coming past here some time ago. So it's that time of year. You never know, it will be pretty epic to come across an orca, but. A quick science lesson on sharks. Does it matter how clear the water is for sharks? Yes and no. Uh, ultimately, sharks' eyesight isn't brilliant. If you look at the human eye, the light bounces through the eye once, whereas a shark, it comes through, bounces off some crystals in the back of the eye and then fires back out. So when it's really dark, they have some decent vision. They've essentially got night vision. Certainly in dusk till dawn, where we see most of the attacks. And in 2022, I analyzed some data from Florida. Most of the attacks are first thing in the morning there. And they do think it's mostly down to the fact that Sharks' eyes take about two hours to adjust to the changing light, whereas your eye, the human's, takes about less than a minute unless you've been out on uh, out on the source and then it can take a lot longer. So I hope that's been a little bit informative. I'm really looking forward to getting in there and I'm sat here in a 5.5 mil wetsuit, so I am getting hot. This is summer. I've just checked the water temperature and it's 16 degrees Celsius, optimal range. So yeah, can't wait to get in there. Let's do it, shall we? There's a few jellyfish and there's a seal that keeps coming nearby but I can't quite get one on the camera. I think I might have him but I'm not sure yet. He's keeping his distance so I'm trying to splash around a bit to show I'm quite playful and in the hope that he wants to come back and have a little play. That'd be lovely. Oh. That's circling, what's he after? I've not seen many fish, I've got to be honest. But we'll keep going, this is absolutely beautiful around here. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Right, let's see what's going on beneath me. Oh. 
I'm out now. Two Atlantic grey seals came up for a play. They didn't get too close. It was pretty special to see them guys. Uh, loads of jellyfish, there was lion manes. I think I seen a cod in like a cave and I got down to probably about 10 meters. So it was a nice day out. I mean, look, look at this visibility. I don't know if the GoPro is picking it up. Well, there we go. So yeah, I hope that answers your question about visibility in the waters, certainly where I am and around the uh, British Isles. Bang in time. See you on the next video, guys. And maybe I know why I'm not catching fish, because there wasn't that many out there. So, all right, so what do you reckon? Do you reckon there's great whites in these waters? I definitely reckon they're visitors, infrequent visitors, perhaps, yeah. Why not? See if the temperature's good enough. Well, you have you to know? come out on the boat with me sometime. Definitely, I'd love to. Cheers, mate, what's your name? Patrick. Patrick, nice one. Cheers, Alan. Cheers, mate. mate. Hey, boy. <laughs> <laughs>